Hello, my name is Robin. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I very much appreciate it. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, liking, and you can go into robinshealing.com if you're interested in your own healing session or reading with me. So uh, I'm not pulling up any cards. I am doing a discussion on the topic of focusing on judgment. Uh, I do feel called into these videos when I come on. They are random and so uh, thank you for having patience with me as I continue my business and uh, being spontaneous. <laughs> so um, the power of suggestions are coming up and the power of solutions to problems. So what you really want to do is if you can find, if you're looking for balance, balance in relationships, things like that, what you want to do is obviously you're looking for to compromise in with other people. So it's learning how to make changes in your relationships and in situations so that you can find more harmony. And the key thing here is we're looking for freedom. So both people are able to feel uh, re-energized but also feel like each other's coming together at the same time. So it's, it's allowing yourself to feel like you're still your own person but there's respect between each other. So this could be friendships as well. And so when it comes to the energy of judgment, it can be really, really tragic for a lot of people when they feel like they're looking for harmony, but all they're getting is manipulation, um, someone who's trying to put you down, somebody who's putting pressure on you, things like that. So it's, it's really working on your basic principles. How do I want to live my life and then allow other people to become a part of it, that sort of thing. So the first thing that I'd like to suggest is working on a trauma that you already have. If you've had tragedy, if you've had, um, you know, heartaches in your old relationships, things like that, making sure that you're not worried and stressed out about things that have already happened to you in the past. So that would be the key thing. Work on healing any old addictions as well. So things that you've um, picked up along the way, um, anything negative, that sort of thing. So we can do that through counselors, healers, etc. Second thing that I would focus on for working on like the energy of judgment, focusing on judgment energy, uh, would be to work on relaxing. What are you doing for yourself to relax? Are you having a bubble bath? Are you, you know, working on shifting and changing your energy often? So grow, spiritual growth, um, emotional growth, uh, what makes you happy? Are you thriving in your life? Are you doing things that you like? Do you like to scuba dive? If so, are you scuba diving? That sort of thing. And so are you talented? Are you a musician? Are you um, also finding balance within yourself? Are you compromising with yourself as well? So um, are, how well are you taking care of yourself? And this is going to make a huge, great deal in terms of, you know, your, your mindset. The third thing would be um, being someone that you're not. It's learning how to be yourself. Um, and so if you can be your own supporter all the way through, sorry, my, my place is a little bit loud right now. If you can support yourself as often as you can in terms of raising your own energy, um, feeling like you make an effort to go out and do things for yourself that make you, things that make you feel good, then a lot of these things are going to actually just take care of themselves. So they all go hand in hand, and that's why I'm, I'm grouping it all together. The energy of trauma and drama seem to go hand in hand. When people have had hurtful things that have happened to them, sometimes if they don't heal it, it turns into thing, it turns into something bigger than what it actually is. And so as we can work through those things, it's going to become less of a problem, obviously, and we're not going to feel like we have the a weight on our shoulders, like the weight of the world is on our shoulders, etc. And we won't react so quick, quickly towards how other people are feeling and thinking. And this is super important. I feel like that's probably the biggest one. Fourth thing would be um, listening to what other people have to say and just actually feeling drawn in and connected towards, towards the things that you feel like you are meant to be a part of. 
So it's asking yourself if you're able to do that right now. Is that something I'm capable of doing? Is that something I understand? And that's where I can help you with those things. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's not on my website, but I do do those things. And so it's about um, really working on, again, the freedom energy of being able to feel like you're in charge of your own life and you can do anything that you want to do. So yes, it's important to balance the relationships but it's, and harmony needs to be there, but it's also important that when you're feeling a little bit weak or vulnerable, that you're able to identify with the fact that maybe you're not in a good place or, or that you're being very, very open with someone and you need to stay okay with that. Because often we will open up and then we'll close back off. So it's learning how to um, stay really strong in desperate moments, stay really strong in moments where we're uncertain and ashamed, things like that. And so really it's about uh, the consistency of, of strength. And that is really, really, really hard to do, especially when, when people um, have such strength themselves. Some of these energies could be a little bit challenging. Okay, so we're um, finding ways to have compassion, but at the same time, identify with where we are at the same time. So we're not here, there, and everywhere. All right. Last thing and final thing, my fifth thing in relation to focusing on judgment would be working your way up the ladder, right? So we can't want to be here when we're right here. So it's, if I'm, if I'm gonna, going to say this, then I'm going to do everything that it takes to, you know, to like build that up for myself. So for instance, if I want to lose weight and that's really important for me, then I need to stick to that one goal and make it happen as long as I know that it's worth sticking to, if that's a priority for me. So if you're a visionary, if you have huge dreams, if you have huge goals, that's gonna be a little bit difficult because working on that one thing is going to be a challenge. And if you just set one small thing at a time and work your way up, you're going to find that uh, it you start to be okay with like other stuff that's going on in your life because you're not creating such a big goal. So that's what I would suggest is work your way with like one thing and then ease your way kind of as you go and it's going to become so much easier for you because you won't even notice sometimes your progress until you actually... Um, are there and you start to see, wow, I actually did that and I didn't even realize that I was doing that. Okay, so it's, uh, you know, feeling like you have your own back, feeling like there's support for you from people, but also from yourself. Okay, so give yourself a pat on the back for watching this video, for being a part of this, and maybe doing some of these practices. So, take care. Bye.